arterial plaque. We've all been told that once it builds up in your arteries, that's it. There's no coming back from that. But the latest science proves that that's no longer true. You can shrink arterial plaque. And I'm going to show you how. For years, we've been told that arterial plaque is permanent, a silent lurking threat that clogs our arteries and puts us at risk for heart attacks and strokes. But what if that's not the whole story? What if there was something you could do that could actually shrink and stabilize plaque, reshape it in ways that can protect your heart? Today, we'll break down the science behind arterial plaque, explore how different types of exercise impact its growth and stability, and lay out the best strategies to keep your arteries clear and your heart healthy. Now, before we dive in, I want to invite you to join our growing family of longevity enthusiasts in the Longevity Alliance, my free community on school.com. You'll get access to my Foundations of Longevity course, perfect for getting started on your journey. Plus, you can join our weekly live Q&A calls where we discuss everything from the latest research to practical daily habits. Whether you're sharing your wins, asking questions, or connecting with fellow biohackers, there's a place for you here. And yes, it's completely free, now and forever. Just click the link right up here or in the description below to join us or to just check us out. It builds up slowly, silently. Arterial plaque doesn't announce its presence. It lurks. A sticky mix of fat, cholesterol, calcium, and cellular debris that clings to your artery walls. Now, at first, it's barely there, but over time, it thickens, hardens, narrows the passageways that your blood depends on for transport. And when that happens, your risk for heart attacks and strokes skyrocket. Now, this isn't just a problem for when you get old. It starts when you're young. Plaque accumulates for decades before symptoms appear, meaning that by the time you feel something is wrong, you may already be in dangerous territory. Plus, as you age, your arteries lose flexibility. Blood starts to really struggle to get through, and so your blood pressure rises. Circulation weakens. Cardiovascular disease, the world's leading cause of death, becomes more likely with every passing year. For decades, we've been told one thing. Once plaque forms, that's it. It's here to stay. It's permanent, a one-way street. But is that really true, or is there something that we can do to stabilize it, even shrink it? Turns out, there is. And it should come as no surprise that the answer is exercise. Exercise is powerful. It shapes your body, builds muscles, it strengthens your heart, improves stamina and endurance. And when done right, it impacts arterial plaque in surprising ways. The right kind of exercise can actually shrink plaque, stabilize it, and prevent the buildup of new plaque, but the wrong kind or too much, that's where things get a little bit more complicated. Studies show that both moderate endurance exercise and high intensity interval training can actively reduce plaque. HIT in particular has shown results in just a few months. One study found that six months of structured HIT training led to a measurable reduction in arterial plaque. That's real definite change. But exercise doesn't just remove plaque, it transforms it. Unstable plaque has a soft, fatty core that can rupture, triggering a heart attack. Exercise helps stabilize it, encouraging calcification and forming a protective barrier. It can even create a natural bridge around dangerous blockages, as we'll see. Let's dive deeper into what's happening inside your arteries. Now, to understand plaque, we need to go small, cellular level small. It all starts when LDL cholesterol, the so-called bad cholesterol, sneaks beneath your, arteri your artery lining. The immune system jumps into action, sending white blood cells to clean up. But instead of fixing the problem, they consume the cholesterol, morph into foam cells, and create an even bigger mess. The plaque grows and the risk rises. Exercise disrupts this process. It can reverse the transport of cholesterol. HDL, the good cholesterol, acts like a cleanup crew, pulling harmful cholesterol out of the foam cells and sending it back to the liver for disposal. HIT and endurance training amplify this process, speeding up cholesterol removal. The immune system plays a role too. In many plaques, there's this dangerous necrotic core. These are dead, unstable zones inside the plaque that are at most risk of rupturing. And when these necrotic cores rupture, that's when everything goes south. Regular physical activity seems to reinvigorate foam cells, helping them migrate out of the plaque 
rather than sticking around and making things worse. In studies, it has been shown to actually reduce the size of these necrotic cores. A regression of atheroma volume was observed in those undergoing six months of supervised HIT compared with patients following contemporary preventive guidelines. And then there's angiogenesis, the creation of new blood vessels. When an artery starts to clog, the body can build alternative routes for blood flow. The pressure of blood against the arterial wall during a workout can cause new blood vessels to form, essentially creating a natural bypass around blockages, and exercise supercharges this process. What about steady state cardio? Other studies suggest that long-term endurance athletes, and I'm talking about people who have been running marathons for years or even decades, this study suggests that these types of athletes might have an increased risk of plaques beyond what the normal person who doesn't exercise might have. So too much exercise might have a less desirable effect. But this same study also shows that this plaque is a more calcified plaque than that of non-athletes. It's more stable. It's less likely to rupture. So it's not all bad. In master athletes, those who have trained intensely for years, researchers found higher total plaque volume, but also structurally safer arteries. Aging and arterial health go hand in hand. As the years pass, blood vessels stiffen and plaque formations build up, making it harder and harder for the heart to pump blood efficiently. But exercise reverses this process. Research shows that regular physical activity preserves arterial elasticity, preventing the stiffening that leads to high blood pressure and cardiovascular disease. Longevity is deeply tied to heart health, and exercise improves heart health. Even with endurance athletes, studies reveal that although they, have, may, they may have more coronary calcification, their plaques are more stable. More calcification, yet fewer heart attacks. This suggests that while plaque may not disappear entirely, it transforms into a safer, less rupture-prone form. So how do you take this new information and turn it into actionable steps that you can take to improve your own heart health? Well, there's a few different things that you can do. The research suggests that you need to expend about 2,200 calories a week. That's about five to six hours of moderate intensity, steady state exercise. That could include brisk walking, cycling, or swimming. Or you could engage in high intensity interval training, better known as HIT. This would be short, intense bursts of all out effort followed by longer recovery periods. And do four to eight cycles of this. Two or three sessions a, a week of this is all that you need. Resistance training is another tool you could use. A couple sessions a week should be enough to obtain the plaque shrinking benefit, as well as help maintain muscle mass and boost your metabolism. But here's the thing to keep in mind. No matter which exercise you choose to remove plaque, you gotta keep doing it. Consistency is key. This will be something you need to keep doing for the rest of your life. Now, these same studies also suggest that exercise isn't enough. It works better, as you might imagine, when you tie it with other strategies. Diet plays a crucial role. A Mediterranean-style diet, rich in healthy fats, lean proteins, and fiber, has been shown to slow plaque progression. Whole foods, not processed or refined ones. No sugars, refined starches. Every meal is an opportunity to support your arteries. Beyond diet and exercise, lifestyle choices make a difference. Stress management, quality sleep, and regular monitoring all contribute to better cardiovascular outcomes. Chronic stress fuels inflammation, which speeds up plaque formation. Poor sleep disrupts metabolism and raises your heart disease risk. Manage your blood pressure. Arterial plaque doesn't have to be a life sentence. The latest research shows that exercise plays a powerful role in not just preventing, but also reducing and stabilizing plaque. High intensity interval training and moderate endurance workouts promote reverse cholesterol transport, helping clear harmful LDL cholesterol while reshaping plaque into more stable, less dangerous form. It can even create natural bypasses around dangerous blockages. Bottom line, if you wanna shrink and stabilize your plaque, exercise is the tool you're looking for. Okay, that's it for me. I'm out of here. Check out my free school community if you'd like to learn more about human longevity. Catch you guys next time.